So I've been producing for maybe even 10 years now. I don't even know, but I still can't really figure out what compressor actually does. You know, I know that if I slap it on and do a few things, it'll make my shit slap. This video promises an easy way to understand compression and it's a quick four minute video. So let's hope for the best. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama. Compression is actually a really simple thing. Let's first understand what the look of the waveform of the sound means. Okay. This is a really straightforward thing. It simply represents the loudness of the sound and compression is nothing other than chopping off the tops of the loudness. Mm -hmm. To understand it, you can do a manual compression using volume automation. You mm -hmm. simply automate the gain of the sound and decrease the volume. Now, a compressor is only different than that because it is decreasing the volume automatically for you. As you can see, the sound goes down in volume and we want to chop up the first part of the sound so it's not as spiky. Mm -hmm. For this, we're gonna decrease the volume at the beginning and in I guess I've never even tried to understand what compression does. <laughs> so this is a first. Increase to its original volume at the end. And now, how quickly we increase it to the original volume earlier or later is controlled by a release knob inside a compressor. Okay. How simple is that? Okay. Let's sample and see what the volume automation did to our sound. It chopped off the beginning. So let's say we want to leave a louder beginning of the sound, aka mm. transient to make it more punchy. We will learn that what we need to do is at the beginning, we need to start from the original volume and then start decreasing it. How quickly we start decreasing it is determined by an attack knob inside a compressor. Let's resample it and see what the difference it made. Now our sound has a clicky beginning. So mm -hmm. visual change is not the only change. You'll start to hear that more squashed aka compressed sounds sound more controlled and more in your face. I can't hear a difference, but I have a hoodie on. If you push the compressor really hard, you will hear that the quietest parts of the sound have been equalized with the louder ones. Like I'm over here getting closer to the screen. <laughs> so I can hear better. It's not as spiky as it was. Louder parts are closer to the quiet parts. Okay, yeah, I noticed that. That means a compressor chopped up loud parts that go past a certain volume level. That level is called a threshold. There's also okay. a ratio knob that determines how much the volume is reduced after passing the threshold. But I wouldn't worry much about it and for the intensity of the compressor used a threshold level. Increase the ratio to infinite to 1 to turn it into a limiter and you will get exactly what we're talking about. A compressor that chops up peaks of the sound if they cross a threshold line. A great example of a plugin that does this is Ableton's compressor or Punch. A fun fact, Punch was supposed to be initially called a visual compressor to make compression easier for you. Both effects have a line that if your sound crosses it, it'll get chopped off. Another parameter mm. worth mentioning is a look ahead. It loads a few milliseconds of the audio into its memory to start working even before the sound appears. It'll help you to cut those very beginnings of the sound. Learning is hard. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to knees, but from what I've seen, what a higher knee does is it makes quiet parts of your sound get affected more with a lower threshold. It'll help you, for example, to compress the hi-hats in a drum loop even if they're not passing the threshold while mm. keeping a relatively low compression levels on louder parts like kick and snare. Oh, uh, okay. Peak and RMS are sensitivity options. Peak is more sensitive to short peaks in volume than... Yeah, I got that. Yeah, we, we got it, right? Yeah. ...an RMS. Also, some compressors are equipped with an expander. Turn it on to mirror the volume reduction and increase it instead of decrease it. Now your sound will get louder instead of quieter. Oh, that's interesting. When you're compressing a sound, forget about any rules and book values. Do what sounds the best for your track. There's no perfect formula for your sound, and music is all about that. Sound. So a compressor, pretty much what it does is it takes your audio file and it compresses it. So that's it. Like, literally, if there's higher notes, it'll bring them down. Can we just leave it at that? If this part of the note is higher than this part, you can set the compressor to bring this one down to this one. That's it. Okay?
you got a drum loop that's doing all of this, you just try to make it level, I guess. Just give me a simple answer in the comments. I don't want to sound too dumb, but this is real life. I've gotten like 200 million streams on my music and this is still just... Maybe I have a learning disability. I am Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama.